I'm going to show you the product, and this is Dax's very own vegetable oil shampoo. Help me! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11, and today I'm going to be showing you something that I think a lot of people may have questions to. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, I've been using hair grease quite heavily because hair grease was the thing that grew my hair back in the day, yada, yada, yada. So now I've put the hair grease in, it needs to be washed and it's time for the hair grease to come out. So today I have actually bought a shampoo that claims it can get rid of hair grease. I'm trying to get see what that be like, man. Man, look, be that, 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 that. It's the same brand as the hair greases that I have been using. So before I show you the shampoo, I'm going to show you the products that I was using in this hairstyle. And they are the Dax Hair Grease, which is this one. And I used the wax for my edges. This is Dax Wave and Groom. I'm going to show you the product. And this is Dax's very own vegetable oil shampoo. What? Vegetable oil what? shampoo. Help me! So, it says Dax Vegetable Oil Shampoo, gentle formula, ideal for build-up removal. It says removes oils, pomards, sheen sprays and hairdressings. Actually smells like a hair grease, it smells quite nice. So it's a clear liquid with a yellow tinge to it. So it was almost looks like washing up liquid or wash detergent. So I'm quite excited to try it and see how this works. The last thing I washed my hair with was Tresemme shampoo and that done my hair quite well, but it's not specified to wash out pomades and hair grease and what have you. So I just wanna see how this one works. Right, so I'm gonna take down my hair guys, just to show you. I've had my hair in single braids for the week. I did overdo it with the hair grease. I did put a lot of hair grease in my hair. So my hair is quite limp at the minute. It's got a lot of stretch to it. So I'm gonna go rinse out my hair and then I will come back to you once my hair is completely shampooed and tell you the end results. Okay guys, so all I've done is rinse my hair as much as possible. Now you can see exactly where the hair grease is, just sitting on top and these parts are puffy. So I'm going to section my hair just in two sections and shampoo my hair on camera just to see the comparisons, how the shampoo cleanses my hair. So I'm going to start by putting it directly onto my hair, just to see how it lavers up. Okay, it doesn't really feel like it's got much of a lava to it, which I did not expect. I thought it was going to be more foamy and lathery. But as I said, this is part of Dax's brand and they say that they can actually remove product buildup. So we'll see. Okay. I think it's working. My hair doesn't feel clumped together anymore in comparison to this part. You can see this part's clumped together like it's definitely here. But this part, separating nicely, okay. Maybe it does work then. So I'm using a big bit now. As a natural, I never use a dime size amount. It doesn't feel very moisturized now, I'm gonna say that guys, but obviously I suppose it wouldn't be because the hair products themselves were quite greasy and moisturizing as it were. But it doesn't feel stripping either. So I'm gonna wash this side out and then show you the comparison to the other side. Hmm, okay. It just feels that it's got a really light, light fragrance. And it detangles nicely as well. I didn't expect this. I expected something quite harsh, something quite lathery, very thick. But uh, it's completely the opposite of what I expected. Put some more on my edges because that wax is just sitting there, you know. I'm not too fussed about my scalp because I didn't grease my scalp too much this time. I just greased my scalp the day that I washed my hair and styled it. This is nothing like what I expected, guys. As I said, I thought it would be stripping, but we'll see when I wash it out completely as well. I haven't got the conditioner just because I want to use my uh, Cream of Nature conditioner as well. Go rinse it out and I'll give you my final verdict. So I will see you in a second, guys. I'm just gonna rinse the side out and show you the difference, okay? Okay, guys, so here's a few things. I've rinsed the shampoo out my hair. 
Okay, let's just compare it. Before I go on to talk about the shampoo, I'm just going to show you the other side. So this is the side with the hair grease rinsed out with the shampoo. And as you can see, this is the side where it's just rinsed out of water. Now, let me be honest guys. I did find it quite unusual that I'll be washing the grease out of my hair with more oil. This is vegetable oil shampoo. I did find that a bit unusual, but then washing my hair out, my hair doesn't feel greasy when I go like this, but when I touch my hair, it still feels like there's a coating on it. So I do feel that I'm gonna have to shampoo my hair maybe once more. I don't know, I still feel, I can still feel a bit of hair grease, but to be honest, that guys, I think that's the wax. I mixed the wax and the hair grease. And I did go overboard, I really did. But even still, the amount of grease that I did apply to my hair, the fact that it's done such a good job to remove that, um, I am quite happy about it. So I will be keeping this in my stock as long as I use hair grease. And then I'm gonna deep condition it, because I think if I'm rinsing my hair twice with shampoo, it's gonna need a deep condition. All right, so I'll come back to you in a second, guys. Okay guys, so I did go back in and shampoo, re-shampoo my hair. The reason why I went back in with that shampoo is because it says, after you apply to wet hair, rinse thoroughly and repeat if necessary. Now as I said, my mum used to repeat shampoo my hair, so that's what I've just gone in and done. And second time round, I've had a better experience. So if you can see on this side, my curls are starting to pop again, meaning that they're not weighed down with the grease. This never happened the first time, they were a bit weighed down. It is quite moisturising, I must say, which I, again, I didn't expect. So if you can see, my curls have got their bounce back. Okay, so that's what you're looking for to make sure that it's washed out completely out of your hair. So I would definitely say, guys, if you are going to use hair grease, definitely have a bottle of this to hand because you want to start, every time you style your hair, wash and style your hair, you want to start on clean, fresh hair. So I'm going to wash both sides out completely and come back to you with the final results, okay? Okay guys, so it worked. My hair is completely clean, it feels soft, doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel like it's got any product on it. So what I'm going to do, because it had the hair grease on it for a week, I'm going to deep condition as I said, but I'm going to do all this off camera guys, so this is going to be the end of the video for this one. But just to say yes guys, that's how you easily remove hair grease or product build up from your hair. So this is a tutorial of hair grease removal, okay? <laughs> so I'll leave the product details down below in the description box. If you have any questions, any requests, any comments, then I will be happy to answer them for you. Just leave them down in the comment section and I will see you in the next video, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.